capitalism is the enemy of the working class. Put simply, capitalism is the one thing that undermines workers and places them at the mercy of the capitalist class, while allowing a double standard to emanate between the classes of our society. Uh, recently, I saw a um, tweet about Donald Trump showing that he was taking his sick holiday in three months. Now, this is something which should stagger anyone, because he is the president, and you would hope that someone in a time of great austerity, of, of great negativity and trouble with many people would be focusing on the country, and as he said himself, make America great again, but uh, as, we, as we're seeing, that's clearly not the case. But on a more relevant to the topic uh, issue, his sick holiday in three months is something of a working class and members of the proletariat can never hope to attain. Um, the idea of even taking one holiday or one day off work is enough to lose many workers their jobs, which obviously is a sign of a lack of job security, but more importantly, a sign that workers are treated extremely poorly compared to their bosses. Trump himself um, owns many of the places he's going on holiday, and he has the luxury of being able to tour around the US as though nothing is uh, happening. Whereas workers have to stay within uh, proximity to their jobs and their locations for fear of being replaced by other workers. That's the nature of capitalism, to treat the working class like cogs and parts, only to be replaced by better and more efficient parts when profit is at mistake. As we've seen with the automation process where millions get laid off work simply to maximize the profits of the corporations, workers will never be treated as valuable in a capitalist society because profit is more important than people when you are a business. And thus, no matter how um, charitable and generous your employers are, no matter how valued you are as a person, you'll never be more valuable than a profit. And ultimately, it's more profitable to have uh, workers who are more likely to be at work than are not. So your needs for a break, your leisure time, your enjoyment of life is not considered valuable to your employer. Um, certainly when they can replace you with parts and machinery to do your job for you and be less risk and less likely to cost the company more money. Um, I think it's extremely telling that we see bosses have such increased and higher wages to their workers. Um, and we can see that um, the bosses are not even necessary really to function for the company. Workers can very easily manage themselves and take hold of means of production to organise themselves. As, we, as we've seen in many examples throughout history, um, certainly in many communes and areas, in industrialised areas, workers have taken charge and managed the factories more efficiently than their bosses ever had. But instead we have a system where bosses and capitalist class seize the wages and profits of the workers and hand back a measly amount and then claim they are essential to the company. There's no reason autonomy can't be granted to people and a more efficient, better system like socialism can't be implemented to the workers of the world. Otherwise, you see the disgraceful, um, outrageous conditions seen across the US for many workers where minimum wage is below that of the average wage you need to be above the poverty line, where bosses like Donald Trump, like endless CEOs, can do nothing for their companies and their countries and the uh, organisations they're in charge of yet be treated like the most important people within it, whilst workers have to fight to keep their jobs or starve. Um, we can see across uh, the Western world, and indeed any capitalist nation, that workers will never be treated with the same level as respect and dignity that their bosses will, despite doing far more on average than their bosses. Donald Trump himself uh, is a clear sign of where capitalism has gone wrong. Despite failing four companies, despite being born into wealth and doing little to show he was worthy of owning that wealth, he sits as the most powerful man in the world and shows that meritocracy does not exist in a capitalist nation. Especially if you look at the fact he has taken six holidays in three months whilst people are starving because of the lack of fairness and equality in America. Class poverty is something which exists because of capitalism. And whilst we have a working class treated so poorly and defunctly by the government, we're always going to see this inequality and poverty manifest. Um, and consequently, it's time for change. Because whilst we have capitalism, the working class will never be seen as more than parts to the ultimate goal of his profit, the capitalist class. 
um, workers will never be treated like actual members of society, but like cops and pegs for the capitalist machinery and bourgeoisie to take hold of the profits produced by them. And ultimately, we need reform, and we need ultimately better systems, because we lose our value as members of society when we are reduced to how much profit we can produce. And whilst we see a worker as nothing more than a tool to profit, we are always going to have a miserable, fun society with millions of unhappy, unproductive people and a capitalist class like, with members like Donald Trump exploiting those at the bottom for their own gains. And really, we need to look at a system that allows members of the top of society to treat themselves to luxurious holidays whilst their workers starve and suffer in pitiful conditions at the bottom.